been using iOS 17 for several weeks now, if you include the beta time, but I've had it on my 15, new 15 Pro Max for the last two or three weeks. And so I thought I'd share just a quick thoughts. Got a blog, blog post on this. I'll put it down in the description so you can read that blog post. But let's do bad, neutral, and the good. Bad. I'm still frustrated with the lack of stability. And this isn't necessarily about core operating system, iOS 17 in and of itself, but it's the ecosystem as a whole. I'm getting resprings overnight. I know there's a lot of talk about devices shutting down. I've had my iPad shut down, do what they call a shutdown. I don't think it's a real shutdown, but you can check out our podcast episode uh, on that. But resprings, I've had my watch respring. Notifications seem like they're getting even more out of sync. I've had an issue where the continuity and stuff like that didn't sync with my Mac, so I couldn't turn on a focus mode on my Mac and have it show up on the other devices, which meant I had to sign out of my Mac iCloud account and back in, which is a whole thing. So it just seems like there's still something going on in that ecosystem. And we talked about that in last week's episode of Gadgets for Families. So the other bad, not enough apps are supporting interactive widgets, standby widgets, watch widgets, live activities, and other new features. And this includes Apple stock apps, not having enough variety and control. So <clears throat> I'd like to see that expand because it's just, it's been a bit of a struggle. So um, anyway, not great. I've not seen as many apps say iOS 17 compatibility as I have in the past. A lot of app updates, but most of them aren't calling out that they're compatible and adding these new features. And then another not so good thing, I guess this one can go in neutral. This is the only thing I have in neutral, but the notes widgets, when I tap on them, I get weird behaviors in the notes app. I don't know what it is. You would think if I tap on one that's just a note, it would go straight to the note. If I tap on one that's just a folder, it would go straight to the folder. And it kind of does that some of the time. But then when I get in the notes app and I tap around, it's doing weird things. So I don't know what's going on there. Now the good stuff. Standby mode, awesome on my nightstand. Okay on my desk. We still need more widget options for the widget screen, the, the one that's got a clock or widgets. Anyway, that one needs more options. I'm using the rotating photo screen on my desk because I just like that one. It's got some nice stuff. But... You know, if it wasn't there, I wouldn't miss it. On my nightstand, I definitely would miss it. Now, my home and my lock screens are more dialed in now. And I wish I could use rotate photos and live photos at the same time on the lock screen. But when you choose multiple photos and have it rotate, it doesn't seem to turn on the live features. So that's kind of a bummer. Using the app Widgetsmith has helped me get things dialed in quite a bit more. So I'm really enjoying that. And this week on our podcast in the post show, that'll be the episode on the 18th of October we'll be talking more about customization in the post show. I did notice another good thing that contact photos, I notice now that if you go into a contact and you tap on contact photo, you can see whether you're using a custom photo or whether you're using the one that the person shared with you. And if you're using the one the person shared with you, it'll update automatically. If you're using a custom, it has an option for you to say, now ask me to update. So that's really cool. And then one other great thing that I've done is I've turned the Taptic Touch I've adjusted that to the fastest speed and it gets really close to 3D touch. Not perfect, but it gets close. So I've got a video, we've got a video on this YouTube channel that shows you how to do that. So check that out if that's something that you'd like to do. Overall, iOS 17 is good and I'm definitely falling back in love with my phone and using it. I think part of that's the hardware. You can see my iOS 15 Pro Max two weeks in thoughts. There's another video that we've got on this channel too, but Overall, it's good, but they just need to get things stabilized because it can be so frustrating when that stuff isn't working. If you want more, check out the full episodes or the podcast. Thanks.